Vyrezávané palice sprevádzajú človeka vlastne od praveku. A už v tých časoch slúžili ako opora pri chôdzi a tiež aj na obranu. Čiže človeka tak upokojovala palica, dávala mu istotu. V súčasnosti sa palice používajú ako používajú ako opora pri e, hľadaní húb, pri cestách, pri turistike. Takže ich použitie je stále aktuálne. I was running a space also myself in the shop window apartment I used to live in and so I always like these places that are artist run and that are also run by students partly etc. So the architecture of the space that it's in the basement also for me made some sense with these walking sticks because it's, it's, it's wood so it has roots and so this connection also was you know, influencing me to do this project. Um, on the other side also the woodcarver is somebody who has a relation to materials, so almost like a sculpture professor, this folk art souvenir producer of walking sticks becomes a kind of teacher who tells uh, his experience with the material, his inspiration, so I made an interview with him that is also part of the show. Another part of the show is after being invited to hold a lecture in the academy, I said, let's do a more uh, nomadic lecture. So um, I invited students to come with me to the mountains and to the forest of Bratislava. And I organized some equipment and a microphone and some amplifier. And I, um, I was holding my lecture on the move, walking through the autumn forest of, of Bratislava. So, and this is now recorded and also part of the installation that lies in the ground, the recorded lecture. First in Bratislava, I realized that there are so many um, Thai massage places and um, also so many souvenir shops. And so I first thought about two ideas, but it, I stayed with the one of the of the carving and the souvenirs because on one hand I also felt it's something I've not worked with before, the folk art. Um, and I must say I have a soft spot for many of those. Uh, souvenir places all over the world but it's very specific also here that there's so much uh, carving and I also found a relation between folk art and maybe the work that I'm many times more related to which is more the mass media context so it's many times I work with television or with you know uh, you know all kind of media that um, the, the, and, and media formats But I also thought that the souvenir is also kind of mass media uh, and in this regards uh, I found it very intriguing to be on one hand super local with, uh, with this wood carver here in, in, in a valley in, in Slovakia but on the other side to connect the wood carving figures because I liked that they become characters, they're almost little uh, spirits from the basement, little ghosts, like little uh, Yeah, little characters. And to take the little characters in relation to the history of man and stick and to all of these copies found in the internet, all of the, all of the photographs and images and paintings and drawings that have represented man and stick, uh, this kind of dialogue I've, I found interesting. That is on the one hand the World Wide Web that's been held by a super here Uh, Slovak-based uh, figurative uh, local sculpture. And then also that the sculpture and the installation is also kind of a bit of a statement about an exhibition because we are not nailing those images on the walls, we are not framing those. It's a very humid gallery, there's a lot of water in the air. So I think even that now this paper that is held just by the gravity of the walking stick, that this holds the image For me, it's 
kind of nice and poetic and also um, the dialogue between the little wooden figure and the character who can be Salvador Dali, the Pope, Leonardo DiCaprio, Popeye or whoever. This is, you know, not only by chance but also a bit um, by gravity of the earth, the connection between those two people or faces, representation.